Hello guys and welcome once again to my channel. If you have been here and if you haven't, it is so very kind of you to pass by. I know that this intro is super strange and if you're new here, don't think that this is normal for me to do something like this. Uh, the light is crazy. But I, I have been cold. I have been cold. I have been sick with a cold or more like the flu because it was really intense. And so that's why there weren't any videos last week and most of this week. And also that's why I'm on Snapchat because I really need the filter. So so I just wanted to film a quick intro for this video. I'm going to be decluttering some makeup. I'm going to start like a little bit of a series where I declutter makeup that I no longer use or want or it's just not good. But I'm going to be doing it by category. So today is going to be like single shadows, sort of like that or like cream shadows, things like that. Not like the single shadows like Makeup Geek and things like that, but more like the ones that are like in their own little pots. So if you want to see how I do that, just keep on watching. Okay, so this is my makeup setup. I'm sure that you guys have seen something similar to this in my last makeup collection video, which was so long ago. As you can see, the setup now is a little bit different. I moved some things around only this week. So I will have a um, updated makeup collection or like beauty room video for you guys soon. But I still have a few things that I want to change. And then I'll show you everything. But this is from Amazon. It's really affordable. So anyway, what we're going to be declaring today, as I said, is the single shadows or like cream shadows and things like that. They are in this drawer right here, which I'm going to open and just quickly show you. But I will zoom in and change the view right now. So don't worry because you can't really see anything right now. But I'm going to change the angle. But this is what the drawer looks like. Anyway, let me just change the angle now and get into this drawer so that you can see what we're doing better. Okay, so I think that this is a much better angle for you guys to see like the entire drawer. It doesn't open any more than that, even though there's things like back here. But I'm going to pull everything out and you'll be able to see it. Another thing, I have eyeliners here. We are not going to declutter these today because I, I'm just like, I'm not ready for this. Okay, so as you can see here, I have in here, I have some like gel liners. I'm actually going to take those away right now. Then here I have some single shadows, I have some pigments, I have some cream shadows, some other like eye primers. Then I have some like tiny little palettes. And then here I have like more single shadows, some like eye crayons, and other like cream shadows and stuff. So let's start over here. This drawer is, I just, I really never get into these. Like, I know that, I don't know, I have to like either depot some of them or just get rid of them. Also, I lost a nail. <laughs> I apologize for this, but look how long my natural nail is under the fake nail. It's so healthy and so long. I am loving using artificial nails because the nail under it grows healthy. It's not like when you do acrylics, like they file it so much that it becomes so weak and brittle, but this one is just like super strong. And yeah, I'm really, really enjoying these. But anyway, that's besides the point in this video. So the first one I have in here is this Wet n Wild Brulee, Creme Brulee, that's the name of it. So this is just like a light shadow and this used to be super popular back in the OG YouTube days and so I bought it because of that. It is a nice shadow but I have so many other ones in so many other palettes that I never really like just come into the store to use this, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. It is almost new, as you can see. It hasn't been used a lot, so I'm just going to give it to somebody that will enjoy it more than me. Next in here, we have these two pigments from Pop Beauty. I have a beautiful blue and a really nice, like, gunmetal black one. These are, I don't think this one has been opened, actually. Yeah, it's still sealed, has the tape on it. So this is brand new. This one has been opened, but I never used it, I'm pretty sure. I, I think I only like swatched it and that was about it. But again, I'm like not a pigment person. I just, I don't know how to work with them. I just, I don't enjoy them. I don't know. So I'm going to get rid of these two. And since we're on the pigment subject, I have some pigments back here. It might just be this one, actually. This one is from Bare Minerals. This was actually a freebie that I got for my birthday from Bare Minerals. It is such a pretty pigment. 
and I think because of the color I'm going to go ahead and keep it because it's like a really pretty rose gold type of color I'm not doing very good swatches here but there you go see it's like such a beautiful rose gold color so I'm going to go ahead and keep this one just because of the color I think that it is easier to use I could just like put this with my finger right on my lid and call it a day and it's just so pretty so I'm going to go ahead and keep this one next we have this single eyeshadow from the brand JCAD and I think the name is flying solo so it is a pretty like oops I kind of ruined that didn't I but it is like a pretty champagne color super pretty it is a good shadow but again since it's like a single pot i don't really reach for it so i'm going to put this in the giveaway pile so somebody else can enjoy it next we have here two brand new shadows from nyx i actually was sent these two from a pr company i got like a little bit of a nyx package a while back and they are very pretty colors but again since they are singles i don't really reach for them they're brand new in their package i could like depot especially this one it is such a pretty color it's like a metallic olive green it's called zen so i think i could maybe depot this one and put it like with my ColourPop shadows or maybe my makeup geek shadows i don't know but yeah, they're brand new. This one I'm definitely getting rid of because it's not a color that I would use. So I'm going to get rid of this. But this I may depot. I'm not sure yet. So this is maybe, this is a maybe pile. Then also from NYX I have this one. This is like a charcoal gray silver shadow. This one is really old. I got it in an Ipsy bag forever ago. But it is almost a brand new. I'm pretty sure I used it like one time for a wedding and that was about it but i'm going to go ahead and give this one away because i just don't use it and i know that somebody else can enjoy it speaking of ipsy i also got this one from ipsy it is from the balm in the color mad kumar so it is a pretty color it's actually a beautiful color it's beautiful burgundy shade i think i'm pretty sure i got it from ipsy because nobody else does these like really mini shadows like this but it's so small and it's a single so i don't use it i can't really depot it because it's so small so i'm going to give this one away as well lastly here we have this shadow from jouet it is in the shade what is that maple and this is what it looks like it's a beautiful like shimmery metallic shade let me swatch that for you that's what it looks like and it is gorgeous honestly such a pretty shade such a good shade and i'm going to go ahead and keep this one because it's such a good quality and i love the color of this one so i'm going to try to depot it but i may just leave it here to be honest because i have two other products like this from jouet and you can just like attach them to each other and it could be like a mini palette i'm going to show you those later even though those two other ones are for the face but i'm going to show you how you can like attach them so we have in here three of these super shock shadows from ColourPop. they are all three beautiful shades this one is in the shade of birthday cake it was a freebie when ColourPop was like having a birthday if you place an order you would get this for free so I got this one and I'm pretty sure I've never used it. Let me show you. The color is stunning. It's like a rosy metallic. It's like mostly glitter. I don't know. It's like glitter but it's also metallic. It's so pretty. I don't know if you can even see that but it is beautiful. So even though I don't like single shadows, I'm going to keep this one. Oops. I hope I didn't break it. That's one thing that I don't like about these Super Shock shadows. They break so easily. As a matter of fact these two are both broken i know that one of them i dropped but the other one i have no idea how it broke but these two are beautiful shades this one i think is called coconut but as you can see it's broken it's like cracked here it like came off of the pot also i don't know they like shrink over time and they just like come out of the metal i don't know it's super weird and then this is one of the kathleen collection shadows this one is called telepathy also a beautiful color it's like a gold green metallic it's so beautiful i'm going to go ahead and keep all three of these um one because these two are broken and so I, i'm not really going to give this away to somebody if it's broken i don't think that's nice 
in two of their beautiful colors and they can be used as like accent colors just like on the lid of any other look that you would do so I'm going to keep those two because of that and then this one I'm keeping because it's just a beautiful shade and just like with the other one that I showed you earlier from Bare Minerals you can just use this like all over the lid and it would be just like such a pretty lid color so I'm going to keep all three of these next in here we have this one from L'Oreal Infallible and this one is in the shade Endless C337 it is a gorgeous green like aqua metallic shadow and this is like a shadow but it's also kind of like a pigment because they come like pressed like this so it makes me feel like it's a pigment these are so beautiful they're such high quality i'm trying to like get in there can you see that it is intense so i'm going to keep this one it's such a pretty shade and i really don't want to get rid of it then in here we have two cream shadows the first one is from e.l.f. and I'm pretty sure I got this for free maybe like in a beauty bag somewhere I don't know I'm pretty sure I've never used it and I don't know if it's dry though I like don't want to mess it up yeah okay so it's not dry it works perfectly but I never use it so I'm going to give this one away I apologize about the little dent there I'm gonna try to fix it but I'm going to give this one away it's a very very pretty color but I just don't really use cream shadows. This is in the shade Cruising Chic if you were curious. Then in here we have this one from the brand Be A Bombshell Cosmetics. And this one is in the shade Submissive. Pretty sure I got this in an Ipsy bag a while back. I used it like once or twice and I noticed that there was a lot of creasing in my look. I think that I'm just going to get rid of this because I don't think it's a good product and I'm not going to give this to somebody if I don't believe in it, you know what I mean? Then in here we have a little extra of this Lorac eye primer. These are really good. I really like using them on clients when I do freelance. I do have one in my pro kit right now so I'm going to keep this one this is just a backup. Then in here we have two little cream shadows in like this little like wand thingies. This one is from Absolute in the color Posh Plum I believe. My little blind so I think that's what it says but this is a gorgeous but um i was gonna say blue purple metallic shade i used it once in a video and i really really like it it also did increase so it is an excellent product i just don't use it on myself enough so i'm going to give it away and then this other one is from bare minerals i believe it is supposed to be a five in one so it's supposed to be like a bb for your eyes but also a cream shadow i don't know it's a very strange product to be honest and I, I don't think I've ever used it but it's technically just like a cream shadow I don't know it didn't blend out that nicely as you can see it like dried it really quickly and just made it kind of patchy so I don't know I'm actually I'm gonna use this a few times and see how that goes because now I'm intrigued even though I don't use it I'm intrigued I'm gonna leave these until the end so I'm just going to go ahead and move them up for now if I could just grab these yeah I'm just going to move them in here for now because I want to finish with the cream shadow conversation <laughs> okay so I have moved that entire little cube to the front here so that I can reach them better so here we have some eye crayons so we have three I have this one from Trustique in the color Kona coffee and I used this thing once and it was so good I also have another little stick like this but for lips and it was also excellent so this brand Trustee is so surprising but their products are so 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 good this is what it looks like and you see how intense that is if you're somebody who's like really into smoky eyes you could put this on your lid and like or your lash line and then kind of like smoke it out and it would look so beautiful and as you can see it blended out very nicely and then it sets in place it doesn't crease it doesn't move such a good product but I don't know if I want to keep this I'm not sure because then I also have this one from uh, nude sticks and this one is in the color fig 
which is kind of similar. Actually, it's way lighter now that I look at them together. And I really like those sticks from Nude Sticks. I have a ton of their lip ones. I received all of them from the brand itself. I've also used this one a few times and it's a very, very good. So I don't know if I want to keep these or get rid of them. You know what? Let me actually put these aside and think about it for a few minutes. And then lastly, I have this one from the brand. What is this brand? The brand is Dirty Little Secret. I just remembered. So I have this, I was going to say lip crayon. This eye crayon in the color Illusion. I'm pretty sure I got this like just a few weeks ago. <laughs> like I'm pretty sure I got it in a boxy charm. So this is what it looks like. I have not used it until right now. It's pretty. It's like a light champagne shade. Such a pretty base actually, but I don't know if I can justify keeping it. I'm going to put this one aside as well and think about it for a few minutes. Then here we have a bunch of cream shadows and I can tell you right now I am getting rid of all of them except one. And it is because they are all dry. So let's start with these two from Benefit. I got these two a while back. I did use them, but they creased so much on me. And as you can see, they're now dry to the point that they're like coming out of the pot. You could revive these though if you put some like argan oil on them or something like that, or something like Inglot's Doraline. You could revive these and use them again. But since it's not a good product, I'm just going to go ahead and throw it out. Because they're old, they weren't good anyway, so I'm just going to... This one actually looks way better. It doesn't even look dry. Whoa, that's like brand new, <laughs> to be honest. And doesn't it look so pretty, right? But it just creased on me so bad. So I'm going to give this one away. And then I'll throw this one out because it's just so old. And then here I have three of the so famous Maybelline Color Tattoo 24 Hour Cream Pots. I was obsessed with these as you can see. I would use these all the time and I was just so obsessed with these, especially this one. I know that you guys know what this is. This is Bad to the Browns. Everybody and their mother had this and I just had to have it. This is actually like my second pot because I completely used up the other one. I was just obsessed with this. Then I got this white one and then my sister-in-law got this one for her prom makeup that I did on her and then after I used it she said oh you could just keep it because you love them so much. So yeah I was obsessed with these but now they are are super dry super old I'm trying to open this as you can see they're like coming off of the pot because they're so dry so I'm going to throw all of these out right now because they're just so old and it can be good to keep using these and then I have these two last cream products from pure these are so beautiful these are the pure eye polishes I got both of these at generation beauty or actually I think I got this one at the events and then this one they sent it to me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what happened. This one is really old and dry. So I'm going to just go ahead and throw it out. It's super dry. You like cannot get in there. You can't get anything. So I'm going to throw this one out. But this one is pretty recent. They sent this to me just a few months ago. And as you can see, it still works. It's wet and everything. And it is a beautiful accent lid shade. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. So my camera died and this is a few hours later just in case a few things look different or the angle moved a little bit, not sure. But yeah, let's just get back to these. Now back here I have a ton of these Milani single shadows that they were popular for a while a few years ago and I just went crazy and I bought all of these. But I just don't use them. Let me show you the colors. So these are all the colors that I have. I have this like fuchsia, cranberry red pink looking one they are all beautiful by the way and i have this like other brown one then like a gold one a peach a bronzy looking one a white one then this other like medium brown and then this champagne looking one so like i was saying these are all beautiful and they are good but since they're single i just don't reach for them and also because of the way that they are, I can't just like depot them and put them in a big palette. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a little dome that comes up. 
so like trying to depot this would just like ruin the shadows so because of that i'm just going to go ahead and pass these along to somebody that will enjoy them as i'm sure they will but i just don't use them anymore back here i have these two super bright shadows from nyx these are their primal colors i have a blue one and a yellow one i use this one for my pokemon video and this one for my butterfly snapchat filter video i really like these and i actually think i want to get more colors because i love using them for like more creative more artistic looks they're super pigmented and then they're affordable they have a ton of product in them so these are great and i'm for sure keeping these and lastly, we have my little palettes over here. First of all, let's talk about this one. This is the Dose of Colors Desi Katie palette. It is a dream come true. It is so pretty, as you can see, and I am literally never getting rid of this. It's so beautiful. The shades in here are like metallic and glitters, and they just make excellent accent colors for the lid. So I'm seriously never getting rid of this. Besides being beautiful, they are just so special to me because I love both Desi and Katie, and this is just such a special product. And this packaging is just goals, isn't it? So I'm never getting rid of this for sure. And then I have these three little palettes over here. These are handmade and hand pressed by an acquaintance of mine. These are super pretty. As you can see, this one is actually my favorite of them. You have the gold, brown, the green, and the copper color, and these are beautiful. And because they are made by somebody that I personally know, I just never want to get rid of them because I feel like this is her hard work put into this by hand. So I really never want to get rid of these. This is what this one looks like. And then this is what the last one looks like. Then I have this one here from Huda Beauty. This one is almost new, I'm pretty sure. I got it, if not around Christmas, then it was around my birthday in February. Now I'm thinking it was Christmas. And I love this so much. The colors blend out beautifully and super easy. And I definitely think I want to get like the cranberry or the burgundy one. I can't remember what the, the name of it is, but you guys know what I'm talking about. This is excellent and it's only like $27 and you get nine shades. Which, yes, they are kind of small, but really how fast do you get through shadows, you know what I mean? Then I have these two other ones. These are both from BoxyCharm, by the way. This one is from Naked Cosmetics, and these are just like the most beautiful jewel tones. Look at this. They are just so pretty, so pigmented. Look at how gorgeous these are. So I really want to keep this one and I really want to use it more. These make excellent accent shadows for really dramatic looks. And yeah, I'm for sure keeping this one as well. And then there's this other one that I also got in a boxy charm from EB Beauty. And this is just like the most basic little palette of three shades. And I want to keep this one because if you were ever like in the craziest rush and you had to leave your house literally within like five minutes and you needed to take makeup with you this is such a good palette for that because you have like your light shade for inner corner and brow bone then you have like your lip shade and then a really good crease shade that you could just put everywhere and you would definitely have like a look already with this so i want to keep this and these shadows are excellent in quality i did a look with them a while back and they're just really, really good. They blend easily. They look super smooth. So I don't want to get rid of this one. And then lastly in here, we have this one from Essence Beauty or Essence Cosmetics. This is the All About Candies eyeshadow palette. I have kept this one for this long. But I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. One, because I think that it looks very childish. Which I think is the reason why they don't even make this anymore. Wow. Two, because since I don't even make this anymore, even if I was to use it, I can't like tell you guys to go get it because I don't make it. So it just doesn't make sense to keep it. And then three, these colors are not just like things that I reach for, you know what I mean? So I'm going to get rid of this. So that's it. That was my entire drawer of single shadows, little palettes, and cream shadows. I'm going to show you now. I'm going to go ahead and like put everything back and then I'll show you what it looks like compared to the beginning. And then I'm going to show you like what I ended up getting rid of. And by the way, here are the two other Jouer products that I have. So you could just slide it in like this and then you can like keep them all together. So here I have like a little highlighter, 
a blush and then the shadow so this is it this is what my drawer looks like after i decluttered everything i'm honestly so proud of how i did i got rid of way more than i thought i would and it looks pretty empty now i have so much more space to like organize other things here is where i put my eyeliners i wanted to show you before i put the liners because once you put the liners it looks pretty full there you go that's what the drawer looks like once i put the liners in but as you saw it looked pretty empty before these are just some gel liners that i'm going to put here along with like the eye crayons and primer so yeah that's it that is what the entire drawer looks like i'm going to go ahead and take you over there where i have the rest of the things that i got rid of so here are the things that i am just like giving away to friends and family and all of that as you can see it is a lot of shadows and then these are the things that I'm just throwing out. Um, I am going to keep these two NYX shadows. I'm going to put them in my new makeup drawer. Just for like a future giveaway for you guys or anything like that. But then the rest of the things I am giving away to like friends and family. So that is it. That is the whole video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this type of videos, give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. Bye.